Chet Holmgren crossing over on Steph Curry. Not many people do that. Steph Curry. Not at all. NBA Top 100, MVP, Nike, Top 100, Top 5 player in the camp. He's probably the most different prospect that the country's ever seen. We always had faith in him, and now I see where he is, being number two ranked, it's crazy. There's always going to be expectations. I kind of got that taste of victory, and then I wanted it even more. I just have a love for the game. Tonight was our first technically captain's practice. Caden and Jalen are also captains uh, alongside me. We've had open gyms since school started. It's kind of the same thing, just getting up and down, competing, working hard, and getting a good run in. I'm super excited for this basketball season. Um, how can you not be? Especially moving up to 3A, all the high expectations, you know, we're nationally ranked 14th right now. So we're sitting in a good spot, but we think we definitely have some more stuff to prove. 3A shouldn't be too much harder than 2A. I mean, yeah. It's bigger like, schools. I mean, it'll be a little bit harder, but a lot of people graduated last year. It'll be a little bit more of a step up, but nothing too crazy. Me and Ted have been close. He came in and practiced in about third grade. Awful. Couldn't catch a ball, couldn't run up and down the court. He showed up in some khaki shorts and a collar shirt. We kind of looked at him like, he's going to be in and out of here. You know, we don't want to hoop with him. But, you know, my dad kind of told us to stick with him and, you know, that he was going to work with him and that he was going to be something special. Jalen Suggs has a professional skill set. He can do pretty much anything you want him to do. Even when it doesn't seem like he's leading, he's leading because we do a great job of following his lead. You know, over the years, you know, he kind of stuck with us and he worked with us and fought through a lot of adversity. You know, a lot of people telling him all he wouldn't be good and telling him to just stop playing and telling us to stop, like, why is he on the team? We stuck with him. We always had faith in him. And now, you know, to see where he is, being number two ranked, it's crazy. And I think he's handling it pretty well. Man, I'm just happy for him. That is Chet Holmgren, a junior to be at Minnehaha hmm. Academy, crossing over on Steph Curry. Randy. Not many people do that. Hello, this is Chet Holmgren in Minneapolis, Minnesota right now. Uh, and this is how I do Sundays. This is my room. Come here. Come here. This is my dog. Uh, I got my some clothes and my jerseys over here. A lot of my shoes over there. Curry Fours. These are probably my favorite hooping shoes. The low ones. I like the lows. This is the Steph Curry can't practice jersey right here. A lot of people will recognize this jersey. There's always gonna be expectations, and even more now, so like that I'm more well known. But at the same time, like there's always been expectations on me. My parents have always put expectations on me. They expect me to always do the right thing. If I want something, they expect me to go make it happen. Hey, we're here on an early morning. It's snowing, it's cold, but we about to get in the lab, get this work, let's get it. I met Chet when he was in third grade. Long, frailly kid, kind of uncoordinated, but you could look at him and tell that he's probably gonna be really, really tall. The plan from the beginning was all the kids would be positionless. Regardless of whether he's gonna be 5'11 or 6'11, Larry has trained them all to be guards with guard skills. I guess right now it's starting to pay off and everybody nationally and worldly are seeing he's something special. NBA Top 100 MVP, Nike Top 100, Top 5 player in the camp. He was a first team All Under Armour guy. I mean, he's playing against a lot of NBA kids that the kids are going to be projecting NBA lottery picks. And you see that he's probably the most different prospect that the country's ever seen simply because of his body type. Hey, that easy. He calls me this, like he called me this week. Out of the blue, he shows up at the door right after school. He's at the gym. Nobody else is in the gym. His work ethic, I think is the thing that makes him special. Oh, I'm almost falling over. Hey, hand me my phone. Oh, yeah. We can pull it off if everybody yells. We just got here to the school. We're about to go support our girls team. Great team, one state last year as well. But we're about to go tune in and see some great hoops. Top goal, I'll give you top three. First, win state. We've accomplished that goal the last three years, going on four, we moved up to 3A, new challenge. And then after that, have another great year of AAU, hopefully win the UA Finals this year. And then third, somehow narrow down my college list. I just have a love for the game. 
I have a love for competitiveness. I kind of got that taste of victory, and then I wanted it even more, and I still want it more. I want to be better players. I want to be the best of the best at the top. I know it's getting cold, and I need you to be watching all these overtime videos. So get your hoodie, and check out the rest of the videos right here, and subscribe.